Hello YouTube! Today's video, I'm trying to get back a little bit more to my educational slash thought process side of filming where I walk you through a couple runs that I normally fish and how I approach them and what I do in order to be successful. So on this one, I'm Euro nymphing again, going after brown trout. Conditions are pretty good, a little bit lower and clear, but still good fishing. We're nearing the end of the season. Water temperature's getting hot, so keeping an eye on that. Probably going to give them a break here pretty soon, but we might be able to squeeze out one or two more trips for them. I'm going to show you a couple of the flies that I was using on this trip, just so you can get an idea of what these trout are eating in the rivers and what I use to approach them. So here they are. So this first fly here is a waltz worm. It's really just a generic little nymph pattern. As you can see, the dubbing that I use for this, I kind of pick it out so it, it's kind of scattered around and gives it more of a buggy look. And it's got a fluorescent hot spot just underneath the beat at the top to make it stand out a little bit. Overall, this has been one of my best producers for this year. So this here is the Copper John. It's designed to get down really deep and cut through the water fast. It's really bright and obnoxious, so it stands out in dirty water and can be a great producer under the right circumstances. Unfortunately, on this particular day, this one was not getting much action and I ended up having to switch it out. This one here is the fly that I ended up swapping to from the Copper John. I was able to get a couple bites on this one Definitely worked better than the Copper John for me, but as you can see, it's very slim profile. It's still going to get deep. It's got that orange uh, fibers wrapped around it to make it stand out, and the entire thing is uh, coated in UV light. So with the UV finish on it and the Coq de Leon tailing fibers, it's a very durable fly. And it'll catch you a lot of fish without ever going bad and needing retied. fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. Pop it out easy. There you go. Nice footer. Right in that far seam. Fished my way over. All this fast stuff nothing until I started casting over right into that foam line right through there. That nice slow patch right in between the two currents. It's broken up by a boulder a little bit farther up. It creates that nice little soft seam the whole way down through that boulder right there. So what I've been doing is just fishing little lanes and columns through here. Working my way through. Occasionally I'll put one in the faster just to see if anything's moved out in here. But I've just moved my way to fishing that nice soft pocket right there behind that boulder. Following it all the way down. And that's where that fish was sitting.
there's another one. Right over there where they should be. Another good sign. Hey, come here, bud. I can hold them upside down a little bit when they're being feisty. It tends to calm them a little bit. I'm working on it. There it goes. Okay. Got a nice one. Came off a little waltz worm. So I'm just going to follow that seam down as far as I can. That's the current plan, anyway. Until I can't wade any deeper. Just follow that little foam line. Because that's where the fish are going to be sitting. In theory, anyway. Cast a little bit up into this faster, deeper stuff since I have not fished this far down on it yet. Just following through. Picking this apart piece by piece. Cast onto this inside seam here. Okay. Back over to that foam line. Gotta watch those tree branches there. be very hard to fish that from this angle between the tree and not being able to get as close as I would like to but there's another one. Oh, he's off that's three fish right from this pocket though sitting right where they should be every single fish has been on this waltz worm none of them on that copper john which makes me think I should probably switch that copper john out That's the fly that should be getting deeper, and that's the one that should be getting eaten, but it's not, which makes me think they just don't want that. It might be a little bit too bright and obnoxious for them today. Okay, there's one more drift into that far seam. Try and keep that line off the water, get a good drift. Perfect. Another one on the waltz. No, no, don't go in there. Come here, bud. Yeah, that was my bad. I let you get into these. that tree there. That's what you get when you don't have a net. So this is where fly choice becomes a little bit important here. So what I've been catching them on are these little waltz worms here. But I don't want to be throwing the exact same thing, and it's a lighter fly, so I need something heavier to get down and deep. This is not working. It's been a little bit too bright and obnoxious. So what I'm thinking about doing is switching over to something like this here. Nice little paragon-type fly. Different coloration, not as bright and obnoxious, but still heavy and different enough from the waltz worm to get down. So I'm going to tie this one on right here, and we'll see what happens. Okay, now I got that tied on. We're going to be fishing basically the exact same way, but I'm going to start in this closer seam again and work my way over since this is a new fly that I'm going to be presenting. See if anything decides this one tastes good. 
and looks good. This one should have a little bit faster of a sink rate too. It's quite a bit heavier. So I should be able to keep better contact through this fast stuff. Which isn't the reason I tied it on, but it'll be nice nonetheless. Okay. All right, so I think I've covered this faster stuff pretty well here. I'm gonna work my way over to that little current seam, which is where they should be sitting, keep in mind. Everything over here, I'm just hoping to get lucky. Maybe there's one randomly out in here. But now I'm gonna to go to the likely spot and I'm gonna try and make a really good presentation. Right now I'm on the inside seam. And there's one right there. Oh, he's off. That one did take the bottom fly. So that Copper John, was just not what they were looking for. So as of right now, that's five fish out of this one little pocket right here, this soft seam on the inside. So I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull my flies over and let this rest for a minute before I cast back in there because I've been hammering this pretty hard. And like I said, this little fly right here, that little change, that's all it took and it got hit. So we're actually gonna take a little bit of a better look at this rock over here that's creating this seam that I'm fishing, or was fishing. There's some pretty fast current through here. And as you can see, there's a nice little root ball. That's not even a rock, it's actually a root ball. It creates this nice little pocket here, and you've got a seam on either side. The water's, you know, following it up. So I was fishing the inside and the outside of that nice little soft pocket there. And that's right where the fish were sitting in that slower water, waiting for the fast water to bring the food to them. They just dart out, grab it, go right back into the slow. It's starting to rain a little bit. And a fish just rose over there, maybe? Kind of looked like it. Yeah, that was a fish just rose over there after a little, some sort of bug. I can't tell what it is from here. Might be a caddis or some sort of a mayfly. Right in that little back eddy right there. He rose right in the corner. So I'm gonna see if I can put it in the far side. I gotta get closer. I'm gonna have to dump this right in there keep that line up get a decent drift shoot there he is that's that black one again Oh, I really, really should not have forgotten my net. It wasn't a great fish, but I hate losing as many as I am. It's entirely because I don't have my net, so I can't just land them easy. I have to actually get them up to my freaking hand. Right there. Oh, my God. Easy as heck, man. That's why reading water is just so important. Like if I didn't know, if I didn't know that those fish would be right there, it would be so much harder. 